Have you always had a uh, preference? No. What changed? I dated a white person. What happened? He called me a colored person. Not person of color. Colored. Colored person. Do you have racial preferences when it comes to dating? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Well. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Do you have a racial preference when dating? Not necessarily, but everybody else in my life says that I do. What do they say your preference is? Anything Asian. 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 It's exclusively Asian, guys. Is there a race that you tend to date the most? I think black. It's black people. Black love all day. I noticed it when I was in grade school, but like all my crushes were Mexican. <laughs> a lot of my friends like to clown me and say that I only date white girls. I love Caucasian women. Nah, that's probably bad for the character. <laughs> you... I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never heard somebody say they love Caucasian women. I, I'm gonna be honest, I ain't never heard somebody say that before. That's something new. I ain't nothing wrong. First of all, let me say this. Ain't nothing wrong with having a racial preference, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Me personally, I don't look at color. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to dating and all that. Color don't matter to me. Because, look, you can meet... you. Can, I can meet somebody that, that's white, uh, Hispanic, whatever. I can meet all these different races, but I just look at the personality, okay? Because if you got a dope personality, bro, just believe me, you coming home with me. But, again, I don't care about your color because you can be the, the person I want to be. In the, in, in the face and the color and all that, but then your personality is garbage. So, uh, you feel me? I don't really care about the whole uh, race thing. You feel me? I Look, I would date anybody who has a great personality, who's a woman of God and things like that. But, hey, I am engaged. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no more dating for me, but, hey, it is what it is. You have a racial preference for dating? I used to be strictly white meat, but now I'm like, okay. Oh, God, hold on. You just scared me, my brother. I thought you was a female. Okay. Do you have a racial preference for dating? I used to be strictly white meat, but now I'm like, okay, what? You know, it's just one part of a spectrum of so many flavors. I've dated like every race of lady probably out there. Hispanic, Asian. White guys, white girls, guys of color, women of color. I grew up in like a predominantly Asian area. My community had a lot of Asian and African people. That's generally what I lean towards. Flavors, it's like, why would you just want one flavor? It's a blessing and difference. Uh, Have you heard of the term, if she's ain't foreign, she boring? I feel like you just made that up. No, no, it's it. <laughs> nah, bro, you made that up, bro. And you thought you thought you hit that joke. You thought that joke was you thought that joke was a one, my brother. No, that joke was lame. Don't never say that ever again. I, you did not hear that from nobody. You and your brain made that up. That note. Have a racial preference when dating? No. 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 I do not. I do not. As much as I would like to say that I don't, when I made my. E Harmony account. I was definitely only trying to match with certain people. It was pretty un an uncomfortable feeling. Why was it uncomfortable? Because I then I painted myself as a racist. Is it racist to have a preference? No. 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 Absolutely not. You can't be racist if you just want to be in your community. A lot of people are attracted to people that look like them. You like who you like. I don't think you should be forced to like someone just because it might seem racist or not? Do you think it's racist to have racial preferences? I'd say yes, there is a problem with having a racial preference. I think if it's intentional and it's like, I won't date any Hispanic people, I feel like that's rooted in racism. Most people, when they try to avoid a particular race, if you dig into their past, they must have gone through some bad experiences. Like I have like internalized racism and like anti-blackness and like all of these things that I have to continue to process and work through if I want to stand in solidarity with everyone in this country. Is there something wrong with having a racial preference? I think if it's a fetish, 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 yeah. then yeah, probably. First, first of all, first of all, having a racial preference ain't goddamn racist. I want to say it ain't racist. It ain't racist. You like who you like. You know what I'm saying? It, like, bro, if I if I just want to strictly date nothing but black women. Bro, I'm not racist for that. You know what I'm saying? That's not me being racist. That's just what I like. That's just who I aim towards. You feel me? But again, like I said, me, I don't look at race. I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? The first thing I look at, the first thing when I go to a woman, the first thing I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at her skin color, okay? I'm looking at the way she talk, you know what I'm saying? How she's dressed, you feel me? And that, that's, the, that's the first main two things I'm looking at. You know what I'm saying? How she talk and how she's dressed. You feel me? Because I can't have a woman that's dressed bogus and I got to have a woman that at least talks somewhat proper. You feel me? So that's what I look at. You know what I'm saying? I'll go to any type of woman. White, 
Chinese, Asian. I'll go to any type of woman. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I really don't care. So don't don't say that having a racial preference is racist. That's not racist at all. You feel me? If a person just avoids a particular race, that doesn't mean that they're racist. That doesn't mean that any... It, I don't look at that. I don't think it's racist. I don't think it's this. I don't think it's that. You people just want to say anything. Everything is racist. You know what I'm saying? If a white if white people don't want to date black people, that's racist. If black people don't want to date white people, it's not racist. I already know how this finna go. This, this is exactly how it's finna go. The whole double standard thing, bro. I'm just tired of it. But anyways, come on. But I think that if you are looking at them in a wholly sexualized fashion, that veers into racism. Do you have a racial preference for dating? I like my black men. That contrast of that skin color, it, to me, is very erotic. Have you ever caught shit for your racial preference? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you have a racial preference when dating? No. No. I don't discriminate. People think I do, but I don't. I've never said I'll turn down someone because of their race. I love all ethnicities. I think they're all fucking hot. What's your ethnicity? I am South Indian. Do you date South Indians? No. <laughs> so you do have racial preferences? I- Oh, shoot, I guess. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You just walked yourself into that little- You just walked yourself into that, brother. Come on, man. Like- <laughs> like what? The man really just walked himself into that one. Do you have a racial preference when dating? I don't think that I do. <laughs> what my dating history say? Well, listen. There's like a lot of white people that I've hooked up with, so that tells a different story. Do you have a racial preference when dating? No, but like most of the people I've dated have been white, 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 white men, Caucasian, Caucasian. I do have a preference for blonde hair, blue eyed, Tom Petty ish features. <laughs> I just like haven't found another racial identity that I like have connected with on that level. My previous dating history were all white, um, tall, cis men. That's just kind of what I always just leaned towards and felt familiar with. I grew up with a really large like white population. It was, it was available. And it wasn't, definitely not a conscious decision. What There's so up? many fucking- Bro, I la 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 la. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to judge, but bro, what do you got going on? Who is available? And then what? Let's just have a moment of silence. All right. Wasn't definitely not a conscious decision. There's so many fucking white dudes in Seattle. <laughs> How does the experience differ when being an outside of your race? You have the opportunity to have different perspectives than, than you may have otherwise been having available to you. I traveled a lot after college. Getting away from Florida, going to school, having a broader worldview. Now it's much more about the person. That do you have any racial preferences when dating? I do tend to date white men more, which is probably why all the relationships have been awful. Why are you still dating white guys if they suck so much? I think a part of me is like, I don't deserve men of color. Part of my family is really racist. And like I don't want to expose them to that. You, always have, uh, you don't deserve men of color. Part of your family is really racist. By me being a black man, guess what? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I, I truly don't. I don't care if half of your family is racist or not. You know what I'm saying? Because guess be, best believe they mean me. They ain't gonna be racist no more. You know what I mean? Because I'm a, I'm a such great black dude. I'm just saying, I'm a really great black dude. They ain't, ain't gonna be racist no more. You know what I mean? And come on, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta try different flavors. Like my brother said, you gotta try different flavors. There's so many flavors out there, but look, it's not even about the flavors. It's so many flavors that has different personalities that, you know what I'm saying? You may connect on a, you may connect with a, a, a person of color, a black person, way better than you connect with a white person. I'm just saying, that, that could happen. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes where, you know, you probably connect with a Asian better than you connect with a white person. Well, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? We all connect in different, uh, some, oh, God, whoa, <laughs> tongue twister. But yeah, y'all get what I'm trying to say. No. What changed? I dated a white person. And what happened? He called me a colored person, not person of color, colored, colored person. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Do you have any racial preferences when dating? Anything but white. White chicks. No offense, it's been a series of bad luck. Anything other than white and blonde. Why is that? The super strong, important figures in my life that are male have always been of mixed descent. I usually tend to 
um, date POC. It has to be of color. I probably prefer people of color. That's not to say like I was to meet someone who wasn't like of color, like I would be completely closed off to them. They would have to definitely meet the criteria that comes inherent with dating someone of color. It's necessary, I think, for someone to be able to have some type of understanding. Understanding. Understanding systemic oppression and what we go through. It can be harder to relate to somebody when you don't have the same experiences growing up. There are certain things that like you don't really have to like explain. Yeah, I've dated people who share nothing in common with me in terms of culture. It's just not the same. Because I am Jewish, like it would be so much more profitable to marry someone who's Jewish. I don't know, you get it more. What was it like the first time you dated somebody outside of your race? Yeah, those relationships uh, are weird. Yeah, I tried vanilla in high school. It didn't click. Do you have a racial preference when dating? The only preference is I have a male breathing penis pulse. Honestly, my biggest thing is I love a beard, like a beard and chest hair. I have like a height preference, like the last guy. 6'5". What did that kid drink when he was young? Do you have a racial preference when dating? Not really. Do you have a certain type of guy? Uh, like I don't like young guys. No. I like daddies. <laughs> you like daddies? You like daddies? Uh, Alright. Do you have a racial preference when dating? I'm queer and pan, so I just really am attracted to like person, person, person. personalities. The individual themselves is uh, what I notice before I pay attention to what their ethnicity or race is. If, you, if I find you attractive, I find you attractive. How can you tell that you don't have a racial preference? I feel like my porn history is very much complicated. I love so much like gangbang and just like all of this stuff. And in that one, like everyone. All right. <laughs> To hear about your porn history and what you watch on I don't want to hear about that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, number one, I want to say this, uh, because I see all them, the last people was talking about how, you feel me, that they didn't connect on the person, uh, you know, in the same culture and things like that. Y'all get, y'all heard what they said. First of all, we are all human beings. Uh, it's a lot of black people, like me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't experience or I don't relate to certain things that other black people have been through, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we all are human beings and we all, we all have different experiences that we go through in our personal lives that we not gonna always find the one, you know what I'm saying, that we not always gonna find the one with the same color that go through the same stuff as that. I'm just saying that. Like, I hope that makes sense, but we're not. You feel me? Sometimes God can put somebody in your life. Don't have the same experience as y'all. Y'all grew up in two different households. That's the best part about relationships. Because when both people grow up in, like, two different fields, like me and my fiance, we, I grew up in the more, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in this type of, uh, you know, household. She grew up in this type of house. It's like, you know what I'm saying? We both grew up in two different areas. Uh, I experienced this being black. She didn't really experience that. She grew up in a church. I didn't grow up in a church. It's like a different, it's like so many different things, but that's when y'all come together and y'all just accept each other differences. And that's how y'all build on the relationship. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Cause I don't, <laughs> if it, man, I feel like I just said a lot and I feel like it was a lot of nothing but i hope it makes sense to y'all man without further ado y'all let me know in the comment section below do you feel like having a racial preference is racist do you feel like that my brother and my sister y'all let me know in the comment section below i love each and every one of y'all man god bless stay blessed peace